breaking news, breaking news in the Mike Flynn case. Breaking. Mike Flynn walks. Check this shit out. I'm just going to be lazy on this one. I'm going to read right from uh, Fox News. They did a nice piece. This woman did, did a good job. Check this shit out. This has to be one of the most uh, dramatic uh, hearings that I have ever witnessed, and I've been here in Washington nearly 20 years. The bottom line for folks at home is that the sentencing of the former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn has been put off for another 90 days. So there'll be a status report filed uh, in mid-March. But let me just walk Listen you to through why. what's happened in the last couple of hours. The federal judge in this case, Emmett Sullivan, began the proceeding by stating to the court, I can't think of a day when the court has accepted a guilty plea from a defendant that is not guilty and that is not going to start today. He then walks uh, the former national security... So, 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 do you hear that? The judge said from the bench, I've never seen this thing. I've never seen this a case where a guy is not guilty and is here to be sentenced for for guilt and he says it's not going to start today what side of the fed, what side do you think who, whose side do you think the judge is on <laughs> so this is this is this is a bust so anybody watching i'll play the rest of it but what what's going on is basically flynn 90 days they're buying time they, this either trump has his finger on it or somebody's got their finger on the scale the judge is 100% siding with uh, Flynn. Advisor Michael Flynn threw several elements of the case, and he gave him multiple opportunities to withdraw the guilty plea, the guilty plea agreement with the special counsel. He He's acting, the judge is acting like Flynn's to lawyer. challenge the circumstances of his FBI interview in January of 2017. These are the specific issues of not having consultation with the White House counsel, being discouraged from having a lawyer, also not being formally advised that any false statements could be used in a future prosecution. And Michael Flynn declined to do... So he's, so again, the judge is reiterating the fact that that uh, most of the proceedings uh, in, in, in involving the FBI, the way they proceeded in the case was was unethical, was was incorrect, right? And he's given the the lawyer. I've never heard. I've never seen the judge give him a chance, <clears throat> encouraging him to to withdraw his his guilty plea. I've never seen anything like that. There must be something else going on. Some other threat hanging over Flynn's head why he's not taking it or maybe some kind of revolving door deal that he has through through Trump so, through his attorneys he told the court that he was aware that false statements to the FBI at any time could be prosecuted to the full extent of the law we just had a brief a pause in the proceedings and the judge has come back and he's tried to uh, in, in my view sort of mellow or walk back some comments he directed at Flynn as to whether his contact with the Russians in January and December, uh, right after the election, amounted to treasonous behavior. He had said to General Flynn that he felt his crimes were quite serious. He was a sitting national security advisor. He was making these contacts from the West Wing. And then he lied about the nature of those contacts to other members of the transition team, as well as the vice president. And he said he raised a question as to whether this amounted to treasonous behavior, though in the last few minutes, He's come back to say that he did not in any way mean to apply, uh, imply that Michael Flynn had been treasonous. He also, I want to note, put the special counsel uh, under scrutiny and possibly even on notice. He asked the special counsel whether talking to the Russian ambassador in December of 2016 was a crime and the special counsel representative responded it could be a violation of the logan act and then the judge sort of in a very uh unusual way and flip way said isn't that the act no one has ever been charged with which was sending a signal as to what was at the heart of this case so a lot of so right there is that's oops <laughs> my headset fell off that's very revealing right there what what the um what she just said is that the judge asks. She's asked. The judge asks the prosecution. Says, uh, "Has anybody ever? I mean, what, what's the law? Has he actually broken the law?" And the the prosecution side said, "It's it, yeah. It could be uh, a violation of the Logan Act, which has never. No one's ever been charged under the Logan Act, 
which means there's no precedence. Now, where does that ring a bell? You remember when Hillary Clinton, you remember when, when James Comey was, uh, went out in front of the public and said that there's no precedence for, for Hillary Clinton's espionage where she had 110 email chains with classified information where they deleted 30,000 emails while an investigation was going on. You remember that? And, and they're saying that there's no precedence there. But here now, oh, now this, now this press, there's, why would a prosecutor proceed if there's no precedence? There's no way. What, what, what it means is that there's no real way that the prosecution would have got a conviction under any of these allegations with Flynn. Instead, they got him, they scared the shit out of him, and they got him to take a plea. Uh, that's what it's saying. And the judge, the judge is blowing the whistle. A lot of opportunity for Michael Flynn to withdraw his guilty plea, to challenge the conditions of his FBI interview in January of 2017, which the judge, judge said he found troubling personally. But Flynn has declined to do so, and sentencing has now been postponed for another 90 days, Harris. Catherine Harridge, thank you. So that's a no. That's a no-brainer. So now, so what does this have to do with uh, what? Ha what does this have to do with uh, your income, my income, the well-being of the country? Right. It does shine a light on the brokenness of the judicial, where everything you see how a special counsel can be appointed by a crooked uh, uh, Congress, and then a broken Congress, a, a Congress on the take that wants to prosecute the president for fiction fictional Russia gate that never happened. There's no evidence to suggest it, right? You could see how it, it reveals the brokenness of judicial. What's rare and unusual and quite frankly outstanding here is the judges the judge going to bat for Flynn. <laughs> That's the takeaway here. Flynn is Flynn is scot free. He's gonna get I mean at the worst worst case he's gonna get two hundred hours of community service where maybe he rakes leaves at the White House and signs autographs. I mean there's no there's no consequence here. Or he you know, he he he, he goes to a veterans hospital and he you know he, he works the, the, the soup line for, with the veterans. You know, right? He gives something back. That's the only that's the only tragedy in this sentencing. But he's he's definitely he's definitely there's something going on that Flynn was clearly uh, threatened in some way and he's he's trying to get that plea but what's very new is is the judges uh, uh, going to bat for Flynn Marcus Conti reporting